Hi guys, in this lecture we are going to discuss about the introduction of react js. First we will discuss what is a react. React is an open source javascript library for building user interfaces. User interfaces are nothing but front end means react js is used to develop front end application. If you observe the word here open source, open source is nothing but free. We need not to pay anything to use react js in our applications. It is entirely free, anyone can use it. It is developed and maintained by Facebook. We need not to discuss about this line, everyone knows React is developed by Facebook. It was first released in the year of May 2013. React is very good at creating single page application that displays data as it changes without reloading the page. If you know the meaning of single page application, this statement is very easy to understand. In single page applications, we have only one HTML file and one JavaScript file. Remaining all are the components. With the help of single page applications, we can avoid reloading the pages every time whenever the data is changed in the page. So React is also one of the JavaScript library which is used to develop the single page applications. Now let's discuss how react works with a real time example. Here you can see we have an heading traditional way of designing web pages. First we will see how to design a web page using the traditional HTML and JavaScript. Afterwards we will discuss designing the same web page using the react JS. Here we are using the example of portfolio web page. This is portfolio.html page. In every portfolio, we commonly have five things. They are navbar, about section means about the developer, skills and achievements, projects, and at the end of the page, we have the footer. And if you want to perform any interactions to this portfolio.html web page, we have to create a portfolio.js JavaScript file. In this, we have to write all the JavaScript code which is related to the elements present in the portfolio.html file. This is portfolio.js file. It is the normal way of creating a web page using the traditional HTML and JavaScript. Now we will see how to design the same portfolio.html web page using the react.js. Here you can see same portfolio web page in react. First we will design every section of the web page as a separate component. Here you can see there are 5 components navbar.js, about.js, skills.js, projects.js and at the last we have footer.js. As we discussed couple of minutes ago in single page applications everything is a component. In react.js also we have to create components to design web pages. After creating all these components. We have to create one more component to place all these components in one place that is app.js component. Here you can see this is the app.js component. In this app.js component only we have to place all these child components. App.js component is the parent component in react.js. In this we will place all the components navbar.js, about.js, skills.js, projects and at the end we have footer. After creating the app.js parent component, we have to create one HTML file and one JavaScript file. Because in single page applications, we will have only one HTML and one JavaScript. First, let's create the HTML file. Here you can see this is index.html file and this is the only HTML file which is present in the entire React application. In this HTML file, we have to create one div. In that div we have to give one property that is id with the value root. And after creating the index.html file we have to tell the react compiler that app.js is the default component and we have to place this app.js in this div. So to tell that to the compiler we have to create the javascript file that is index.js. Here you can see this is the index.js. In this index.js, we have to write the statement like the root component is equal to app.js because index.html accepts only one component 
that's why we will place all the child components in one component that is app.js component after creating the app.js component we have to place that component in the div and we have to tell the compiler that app.js component is the default component means root component when you create a new react application you will get the app.js index.html and index.js defaultly we need not to create the app.js component and we need not to create the index.html page as well as index.js we will get defaultly by the react compiler we just need to create the child components and we have to add them in the app.js component in the next video we will discuss what is a component and what is the role of component in react applications thank you